I'm answering an email from uh, somebody who had gotten onto my website and, and uh, was having a problem doing some drilling. I am going to answer that email by demonstrating what their problem was and the solution to it. So the emailer's concern is that every time they would drill a hole, it's nice and clean up here on top, but on the bottom, it's just mashed and not looking that good. So what I want to show you is what that person was doing. But before we do that, as always, hearing protection, eye protection, they're going on right now. Eye protection's going on right now. Just to prove it. Okay, so what they do is they have been going They drill the hole. It's relatively clean up on top, which is pretty good. Okay, that one's better. When you force it through, you're going to get these little pieces that start to come up. When you take it easy going down through, let the drill do the work. You have less of an issue. Now, here's what the problem is. The emailer saying on the back, it looks like this. Now, how do we prevent that? Is there a way to really prevent that? Yeah, yeah, there is. Now watch this. So I'm flipping the board over. And we're gonna put this underneath it. So while we're drilling into, into this area, we're gonna make sure that another piece of wood is underneath it flat. Okay? So what I'll do is I will go like this, rest this piece on top of that other piece, Hold it down with my hand, or you can clamp it. Clamp it to your workbench, clamp it to whatever you need to clamp it so this piece and this piece do not move. So I'm going to go ahead and drill again. Looks pretty clean up on top, but when we flip it over, look how clean that hole is. Now, would you rather have a hole like that? Or would you rather have a hole like that? Now, let's do it one more time. Now, you can see that I actually went through the first piece and drilled into the piece underneath it, and that's what it's for. So, I'm going to drill through again and this time I'm going to go let's say up in here I'm still going to have this piece underneath it now in this case I can tell if I've gone through this and into this because my shavings this is darker wood, this is lighter wood. Some of the lighter shavings started coming up through. So that tells me that, that I've gone all the way through. So I've got a clean hole here, and I've got a clean hole here. So in comparison from this to this, just by putting this underneath it. So you can drill a nice hole. The other side of it doesn't have to be all shabby looking. All you have to do is put a piece of wood underneath it and you're gonna be just fine. Just make sure that you don't drill through that other piece and possibly into a floor or something like that. Just be careful with it. Just be very careful. You can do this. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. You just learned a nice trick that a lot of carpenters use. 
and I give it to you for free. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how, like I did. And I'll see you on the next video.